Kaisha makes refrigerator magnets and has just started selling them along with other handcrafted items at craft shows. After four shows, she has collected the data below regarding price per magnet versus the number of magnets sold. Number of the magnets sold as an X, price per magnet as a Y, as a table. We can form the set of the order pairs as 1, 14, 3, 11, 5, 10, and 8, 6. In part A, we're going to find the linear regression line for the given uh, data in a table. In part B, we're going to graph the data and the regression line on the same graph. And part C, we're going to find the Pearson correlation coefficient R's. For part A, to compute the linear regression line, we're going to need to following step one to four. Step one, we need to compute the x bar, y bar, which are the average of the x and y values. Step two, we're going to compute the delta x and delta y, which is the difference of the x value and x bar, different of the y value and the y bar. Step three, we're going to compute the summation of the product of delta x and delta y and the summation of the delta x quantity squared. In step four, we're going to compute the m or the slope of the linear regression line by using the formula, the summation of delta x delta y divided by the summation of the delta x squared. And then the b will be computed by using the y bar minus m times x bar. After that, we skip the graph. For the r or the Pearson co co correlation coefficient r, we're going to need to use the formula r equals the summation of delta x delta y divided by the square root of summation delta x squared times the square root of summation of delta y squared. To keep it in the organized way and in the systematic way, we're going to generate the table again. So we're going to form the table of the values and then compute the delta x, delta y, delta x squared, delta y squared, delta x, delta y column, as you see on the screen here. We call the delta x is the x minus x bar. The delta y is y minus y bar. And then the delta x squared is computed by using the third column squared, similar to the delta y squared. And delta x delta y is derived by multiplying the delta x and delta y. And the bottom of the table, the sum or the summation, the number 17 is the summation of the x. And the 4.25, that is the x bar, which is from the 17 divided by four data points. And the 10.25, that is the y bar, that is computed by using the sum of the y, which is 41. divided by the total number, which is four, to get 10.25. And the number 26.75 is the summation of delta x squared. 32.75 is the summation of delta y squared. Negative 29.25 is the summation of the product of delta x and delta y. Then we put all the numbers in the formula to find the M, the B, and the R. For the M, with the formula, the summation, delta x, delta y, all divided by the summation of the square of the delta x, we use a number negative 29.25000 divided by the summation of delta x squared, which is 26.75000. 000. 
and the number comes out to be negative 1.09. The B value is from Y bar minus the M times X bar or the 10.25 minus the M, which is negative 1.09 times the X bar, which is 4.25. And we obtain the B value as 14.9. If we keep two decimal places, so 14.90, now we get the linear regression. Y equals mx plus B, or Y equals negative 1.09 times X plus 14.90 as, as the answer in part A. Then we can plot the points and the linear regression line in the same axis. So this would be the graph in part B. And then the next part in part C, we are going to compute the R which is the summation of delta x delta y divided by the square root of summation of the square of delta x times the square root of summation of the square of delta y. And from the table, the summation of delta x delta y is negative 29.25 divided by the square root of summation of delta x squared, which is 26.75 times the square root of summation delta, delta y squared, or square root of 32.75. You can add zeros if you want to. And then the r is negative 0 0.988. For this problem, the air value is less than zero. That tells us the slope is negative. And the absolute value of the R is less than, less than one, but very close to one. That shows the, the regression line um, that does explain that this number indicates a strong linear dependence. 